Hello everyone! My name is Pastor Kevin and I'm so glad to be back here with you again for another great day at Hope Kids Online. All summer long we've been asking the very important question, who can believe in Jesus? And the answer is, I can believe in Jesus. Now say it with me, one more time. Who can believe in Jesus? Yes, I can believe in Jesus. You certainly can. Our Bible story today is about a place called heaven. Raise your hand if you've ever heard about heaven. But before we talk about heaven, let's look in on another awesome episode of HKGN with Dylan. Hello everybody, and welcome to another exciting week at HKGN. I'm Dylan Foley, and I can't wait to share with you the good news today. In our first story, we are so excited to announce that Nick Orth will be administering to both our middle school and high school students here at Hope Church now. Nick is an amazing leader, and we feel great that our Hope kids will continue to have an amazing experience here, learning about Jesus for years after they have left our ministry. If you have middle school and high school students in your family, Nick has recently began filming a weekend message and uploading it to our Hope Palm Desert YouTube page. And they are amazing. Make sure to check it out. Congrats, Nick. In our second story, Hope Children's Center, Hope Kids' newest ministry to the families in the valley, wanted to make sure that the kids that will be coming on the campus starting August 17th were provided a mask to keep them safe while being around the other kids and staff of the childcare. We want to give a huge shout out to all the amazing ladies who have taken their time over the last couple of weeks to make sure that the Our New Hope Children's Center is supplied with colorful homemade masks. Thanks for caring, ladies. One of those amazing ladies is Tina Gates. Now let's check in with Tina with the weather. Tina, how's the weather? It's going to be hot. Stay cool. Take a jump in the pool. Thanks, Tina. Last but certainly not least, we are still continuing our local mission project here at Hope, and we need your help. Coachella Valley Rescue Mission is doing their annual school supply drive, and we can't think of a better way to serve the kids in our community than to make sure that they have everything they need to go to back to the school in the fall, whatever way they may look like. So please consider picking up some school supplies and dropping them off at the church office anytime between Monday and Friday from 9 to 4. That's it for this week. Thank you so much for joining us for another amazing week at HKGN. Now get out there and be the good news in the world. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, Dylan. Hey, let's play one last game of I Spy. I'm going to call out a shape and put it on the screen, and I want you to find something in your house that is a similar shape. Are you ready to play? Let's start in three, two, one, go. I spy with my little eye something that is round. I spy with my little eye something that is a rectangle. I spy with my little eye something that is a triangle. I spy with my little eye something that is square. That was fun. You did such a great job. Now let's get up and sing a fun song. Jesus tells us to love one another. So let's sing this out with all we've got. He's 
In this week's story, we will spy in on Jesus telling his disciples he would be going away soon to a place called heaven. He said it would have many rooms and he was going to get it ready for all of his friends. Jesus told the disciples to tell everyone everywhere that he is alive and he wants to be their friend forever so they can be with him in heaven one day. Let's check in on the clubhouse and today's true story from the Bible. Who? Who? You know what time it is? Time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. That should do it. Oh, hey everyone. I'm Manny and I did the coolest thing today. I went to the eye doctor. Can you tell me what this picture is? It was easy to see the pictures at the top of the chart, but the teeny ones at the bottom, those were harder. It was so much fun that I made my own eye chart to practice. Let's put it on the wall. Now you can practice with me too. Here's the fun part. You have to cover up one eye. Take your hand like this and cover up one eye. And hold it right there. Ready? I spy with my little eye something that is green and brown and has branches. It's a tree! You spotted it. Now let's test your other eye. Take your other hand like this and cover up your other eye and hold it right there. Ready? I spy with my little eye something that is red and means love. A heart! You did it! You spotted something on the smallest row. Great work! Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie! Hello, Manny! Who? Who? Testing your vision, are you? Hi, Ollie. Sure am. I made my own eye chart to practice seeing. That's a fun thing to do. But I've got something even better to spy. It's true. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello. I'm Aisha and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Check out today's special. Ta-da! I call them Taste Like Heaven because each bite is the best thing ever. <laughs> Which is exactly the true story I want to tell you today. Get your I Spy eyes ready so you can help me tell the story. Awesome! If you're ready for a story on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. Raise your hand if you have ever heard about a place called heaven. Great. That is what our story is about today. A very special place called heaven. One day, Jesus was with his friends, the disciples. He told them he would be going away soon. He said he was going to a special place called heaven to get everything ready for all of the people who believed in him. He said this place was very big and it had a lot of rooms. Later, after Jesus died and came back, he visited many of his friends. Jesus wanted his friends to see that he was alive with their very own eyes. Jesus talked with them and ate food with them so they would see he is alive and believe in him. Do you see Jesus alive? Help me look for him. I spy with my little eye. Jesus is alive! 
While Jesus was talking and eating with his friends, he told them to go and tell everyone that he is alive and he wants to be their friend forever. Then something amazing happened. After Jesus finished talking to his friends, he went straight up into the sky, through the clouds and into heaven. All of his friends saw him do it with their very own eyes. Can you see a sky with clouds? Look with me. I spy with my little eye. <gasps> A sky with clouds! <laughs> While Jesus' friends were standing there looking at the sky, two angels came and asked them, why are you looking at the sky? Jesus has gone to heaven, but he'll be back. Wow, we know heaven is real because Jesus told us it is real. And we can believe Jesus because he always tells the truth. And everyone who believes in Jesus will get to be his friend forever and live with him in heaven one day. Can you see why this is one of my favorite true stories from the Bible? And Jesus is getting a place in heaven ready for everyone who believes in him. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie, tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus has a special place with him in heaven for me and for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. Jesus wants to be our friend forever. He's even made a special place for us in heaven one day. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you just like got it, get it? Got it! Good! I love spying fun things on my eye chart, but the most amazing thing to spy on is this, my Bible. Because the Bible teaches us that Jesus wants to be our friend forever. He's even made a special place for us in heaven one day. See you guys next time. Bye. I spy with my little eye. Wow. We know heaven is real because Jesus told us it's real. And we can believe in Jesus. We can believe that he always tells the truth. Everyone who believes in Jesus will get to be his friend forever and live with him in heaven one day. Jesus is there right now getting it ready for everyone who believes in him. And the best part is that we can all believe in Jesus. I can believe in Jesus. You can believe in Jesus. Everyone can believe in Jesus. So one last time, tell me, who can believe in Jesus? That's right, I can believe in Jesus. Now let's say our monthly memory verse together. Get your hands ready. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. Now you practice it a couple times with the hand motions. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. We hope that over the last couple months, you have discovered that you can believe in Jesus and believe that he's real and know that he loves you no matter what. Jesus is who he said he is, and he wants to be your friend forever. I want to thank you again for joining us today. We hope you're able to share the good news of Jesus with both your friends and your family. And please know that I am praying for you all. And if you need any support, you can contact me at kevin at hopepd.org or call or text me at 
888-565-6973. And I would love to help. Otherwise, let's pray. Get your hands up. We're going to open them, shut them, open them, shut them, give your hands a clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, fold them in your lap. Dear Jesus, we thank you for a place like heaven. We love you for preparing the rooms there for us to live in. We thank you so much and we love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week.